Hello and welcome to Creating Cards with Alexandra. I'm Alexandra, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I thought we would make a card using the 12 by 12 paper pack. This is called, this is in the annual catalog. It's called Delightfully Eclectic. And this is a huge paper pack. This is 48 sheets and you get four of each design. And I started to wonder, okay, this is a lot of paper. What in the world am I going to do with all this paper? So I came up with a layout that will use a, a large sheet of paper. So I've chosen this paper here, very pretty. And then on the opposite side, it has some stripes. Now, when you're doing this um, technique, you want to use a paper that is kind of, it doesn't have an orientation on it, like... say this paper here where the swans are going in a certain way because you're going to be folding this and flipping it around and you don't want these either this way or upside down that wouldn't be a pretty card so I'm going to use this beautiful uh, flower paper and this requires some cutting so you do need your paper trimmer And we have to bring out the arm here. Okay, so we need to cut this paper. And it is 10 and a half. So we go to that 10 and a half mark. Slice it. And then we're gonna turn it around. And we're gonna cut this at eight inches. Okay, now while we have it at the eight inches, we are gonna score it at four inches and be very careful with DSP. It's not as thick as cardstock, so you can actually cut through it with your scoring blade. And then half of the 10 and a half is five and a quarter. So we're gonna score it again. Okay, so then We'll just kind of fold this and burnish it. Make sure that you're, you're all lined up. Again. Okay. So on this piece, it's a, it's a complete pattern is the same. So you really don't have to worry about um, which size you want. So this is the little piece that will be showing on the front of our card. So we have to cut off this piece right here. Okay. So we're going to set this in at four inches because that's where we cut it at. Okay. And if you notice on your scoring tool, there are measurements on the side here. So we cut this at five and a quarter which is right there. And then also on your scoring tool, there is an indentation there. I don't know if you can see that. And that is your little marker there. So we have this at, oops, four inches. Okay, it's on that score line that we've already scored. And we are gonna go down and I'll watch this little indentation and I'll go to the five and a quarter. Okay, so that's what we have there. Okay, and then this is going to be the front of our card. We do not need this piece. So we will flip it around, put it at five and a quarter, because that's where we scored it, and then take it down to the four inch mark. And then this piece should pop right out. Okay, so we're done with this. Nope, we're not. We're, we're going to cut our other piece of DSP. But let me show you. So we're going to bring this down. Okay. This piece is going to come in. Then we're going to take this corner and just fold it over because we're making a pocket. Okay, so just line up your paper. 
and then burnish it. Okay, and then we're gonna come down like that. So then that will be our card, but we're gonna make this a little pocket card. So we need a little bit of liquid adhesive glue or liquid glue. Okay, and just take that little piece there in the side. We'll fold that down. And this is going to create a little pocket for our card. Okay. And then I also like to lay this piece down with some liquid glue as well to keep that flap from flapping. Okay. So then on the front of the card, we have this DSP that was left over that we sliced off. So this is already four inches, so we need an inch. And then we're gonna do three fourths of an inch. But that one is for my card, so I need to slice this. This card is three and a quarter by four and three fourths. So I need this little piece at three and a quarter. This is gonna be on the inside of our pocket. And we're gonna do that side there. Okay, put that down. Okay, that will go there. And then this piece, just kind of put towards the bottom. Okay, so it's the opposite side. So when you're doing this technique, um, pick some DSPs that go together. Meaning you don't want some crazy pattern on the other side that really doesn't match. So these do match. Okay, so then we're gonna place that. This will be on our card base. This is garden green, and this is our five and a half, or, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we will glue that down. So this basically used up almost a whole sheet of 12 by 12 designer series paper. So if you have a lot of that hanging around, which I know a lot of us do, this is the perfect way to use it. Now there's a little bit left, or a little slice there, which is fine. I don't think anybody's really going to notice, but you can slice that off if that bothers you. Okay, so we'll decorate the front. I wanted to keep it pretty simple, so I have a crumb cake label from the Thoughtful Expressions. This was the fourth one from the smallest. Now, if you're interested in this set and you don't have it, I will let you know that the Thoughtful Expressions stamp set is carrying over to the new 2024 to 2025 catalog. However, I don't know why, but the dies are not. These dies are fabulous. If you don't have them, I highly recommend you getting them before they're gone. So I don't know why they did that, but they did. So we're gonna take this Where in the World Would I Be Without You sentiment, and we are going to heat emboss this with some black embossing powder. So I have my Versamark ink. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that down. Okay, looks good. So we'll go ahead and Oh, brother, heat emboss that. Of course, it went in the hole. In the hole. <laughs> that figures. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get, scoot that up there. All right, let me clean that up real quick.
not how you get in the mess, it's how you get out of the mess. All right, I think that's cleaned. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. Let's go ahead and heat emboss this. Looks good, I think that's all done. All right, and then I'm just gonna pop this up with some dimensionals right there over that strip. And of course we need to make this kind of pretty So I have our beautiful butterflies and we will go ahead and put these babies down. I'll put a small one over there and then I want a little ribbon on here too so I'm going to take my linen thread. A double bow. So this layout is actually pretty quick. It's just cutting that DSP. All right, got the little bow there. Snip my ends. And then I'll use a little glue dot for that. Put that down. Put that right there. So there we go. Isn't that just so pretty? Using up that DSP that we all have. Here's your card for your sentiment. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I appreciate you watching my tutorials and I would appreciate your business. I will link all the items used today in the description below, which will direct you straight over to my shopping page. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up. That really helps me out in YouTube land. And comment if you like this card or not, and if you like the layout, and if you're going to try it. So thank you, thank you so much again, and have a joyful day. Bye-bye.